fancy intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, and this one a little different than what I normally do because, well, a lot of you have been asking for this recently. In the past year, we've had more and more people say, hey, I'm interested in being a content creator of one form or fashion. Now, obviously, for those that don't know me, I, my name is Rev Deuce, and I'm a content creator for Star Trek Fleet Command, as well as other games streaming on Twitch. A little bit of variety there, but um, yeah. We're gonna talk about the programs I use, the software I use, briefly go over the equipment I use, including this disappearing camera. It only disappears because it doesn't want to work right all the time. But I'm using this older one until I switch over to the newer one, which is right there. But anyway, let's start with the basics. Are you curious of what I'm using right now? This is the Logitech Brio, the little webcam right there. Pretty easy to use, especially with your green screen. I've got a Amazon green screen here in the back. You don't need anything fancy for that. And then ring lights. Nothing truly incredible. It, the whole setup, if you want a basic version of what Rev does, the whole setup's going to run you three, four hundred bucks. Uh, if you want a very high end, like I'm running some nice flat lights and like I've got the Canon camera and a few other things, it can obviously go up. But let's talk about these softwares and things that I use to, to be a streamer and to get things underway. And I guess the best way to start with that would be to use, what am I doing this with? Well, that is actually easy. Transition. I'm using what's called Open Broadcaster Software, OBS, and it is free. So, hey, we like free. Free is good, right? See, look at this little green screen in the background. I've got a fuzzily fix. But this is what I'm using for base recording. It has a few different things plugged into it that I don't need to edit in later. If I choose, like I can hit the comment button and bam, look at that. This is actually a green screen item. So the original version of this that I just popped up, I actually clicked in and went into our filters. See, it has a chroma key. Well, that gets rid of the green screens. If I hide that real quick, close, and then rerun that, now look what happened. Oh man, it's green. So I actually activated a filter to remove the green color on there. That's how you get the fun little pop-up. Little tools like this that you can use as a content creator streamer that makes life easier. Now that's something I would more do during a stream, not during a video. A video I would do like I'm doing now, a rough run, a rough edit, and then I'd come through through a program like this to then edit that piece. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. And honestly, this is this little fuzz is bugging me. And the reason the fuzz is there is because of my chroma key. I had, depending on the color I'm wearing, I have to turn it down or up. And you see there went mostly away. So. On this video, this is I'm actually preparing to work on. Remember I talked about I moved to a new house. My community was fantastic enough to help support that. And every now and then we'll have things like house funds up, but we have a couple of plumbing issues right now. And the community is always great to content creators. Content creators can't make it unless people donate. So this is a video I'm creating on exploring the old house. I'm still working through the editing process. Yes, I was an idiot and did it vertical. So you're going to get big rev and little rev talking about it here. But you see, here's another example of one of those green screen items that I talked about, that little Twitch um, panel. That's a green screen. That's just me removing the color and playing it. And you get a visual as you go through that process. Now, Camtasia is only one piece of software I use. The reason I use Camtasia as a video editing software is honestly because it's very light. What I mean by that is render times are much lower. Render times can be anywhere from 20 to 60 minutes, depending on what I'm doing, or lower. Whereas if I use a bigger program like After Effects, which I typically only use for things like intro building and special projects, this can take hours. Now it's a much higher quality. I mean, I can come into 4K and be 60 frames a second and have all these great layers and illusions, but it's going to take a lot longer to process. But that's also like, if you've ever seen this intro running through, which I've made for a few friends, uh, it, it needs to be redone because some of the, the masks are wrong and everything. But this fire burning logo that rolls through, well, I can only do this in After Effects. I can't do this with effects and transitions and all that cool stuff in a software like Camtasia. Camtasia much more limited. Basically throwing together media, really basic transitions. Think Windows Movie Maker back in the day and some slight animations. But you can use it and go for your hardcore stuff in After Effects. Another reason I like Camtasia is the price point. It's a couple hundred bucks to pick up a, a key and a piece for Camtasia. Whereas if you're in the Adobe suite, anybody that's messed with Adobe knows price goes way, way, way up. Now, there are free versions of different softwares. If you want an After Effects styled software, look at HitFilm Express. HitFilm Express is a free video editing software that is still more limited than this, but has more options. And you can buy the full version of HitFilm to get the same level of like Adobe type work. Now, 
The reason I have Adobe After Effects is because I just have Adobe as a suite. You'll notice if I pop up this, oh, there's Photoshop. This is how I do all my thumbnails, my edits, my pictures. Anytime there's a fundraiser going on, I'm working on my card game. There's my TCG right there. I'm working on panels for Twitch or just my thumbnail for YouTube, which I have a preset that I design. I'm using Photoshop and I'll just come through here. I've got tons of layers and boxes like, hey, don't want that D4 anymore? Kill the D4. You know, if I want my, my text, I can change my text by just editing the text. If I want to change the format, if you're wondering why Rev always goes through color patterns, simple. I have different things like gradients and color overlays that I use to change it up, to give it a new spice, to match it with the different clothing I'm wearing, whatever. Having a format that you run through a staple makes things easier. I mean, when I first started doing this as a content creator, things like this, just creating this thumbnail would take me an hour. Now, because I have a preset, five minutes and done. Uh, the, the things that take me the longest are the rough editing, things like if I have to go through with intros and after effects, or even an eight to 12 minute video using Camtasia still takes me minimum 45 to 60 minutes to render through, to edit, then render. So each process, just making a video, generally is gonna run me between three and five hours on average. So would you consider a stream every day and streaming generally gonna be two to four hours by itself? Then the video and rendering three to five and then i'm doing something really big almost all the time on you got it discord and if you haven't joined my discord I encourage you to Rev's pirate bay where i'm talking and doing a lot of everything at all times I've even got all my different servers i'm in in folders and i've got literally hundreds of servers that i'm a part of always going through things but discord is my primary way of communicating with the players and like hey i need the pokemon go well, I've already got it. Cool. Thank you, Shmi. Appreciate the help. So all these different tools that I'm using to help give me to or get me to the point of efficiency, because I think that's what we're all looking for. If you want to be a content creator, how do you do that efficiently? And there's a ton of programs. Uh, the, the I've moved up to using things like Photoshop and everything, and I, and I think that is the best for what it's designed to do. I think there's a reason that it's the staple. But as you go through the process of like, hey, what do I do as a content creator? You're going to need these as basics because I'm a strong believer as a content creator, don't just rock one platform. Like if you're a Twitch streamer, fantastic, but you need to be on YouTube, you probably should be making TikTok videos, you should be sharing out stuff on Facebook, you should have a Facebook page. You need to be on multiple platforms to have any level of success. If you rely on one income, especially as a small guy like myself, you're probably going to struggle bust, but if you have multiple revenue streams and multiple platforms, it's easier to grow your community. Also having efficient tools like this helps. So whether I'm rocking through this or I'm rocking through this, my video editing has a form that I run through and there's some basics that I've gotten. Now there's also some other smaller programs that I use like Movavi, which I simply use this to transfer media types. So for example, if I go into my downloads folder, that video you see in the background where I am going through the old house, that actually was recorded from an iPhone, which likes to do it in MOV. So I use this software to simply transfer it to an MP4, which is a lot easier to use in various editing softwares like Camtasia, HitFilm, uh, you know, whatever you wanna be using at that time. So I simply use things like that for that. But I've also got audio recording software. If you are curious about audio recording, I use a software called Audacity, which is free. I've got a mix between free software and paid. This is Audacity, where I can use to record different sound clips, edit them, anything that I really want to do. Audacity is a pretty full-fledged, for being free, vocal software or audio software that I can use to create MP3s and do background vocals on things. If you ever notice like me talking in the background, I probably recorded that on Audacity and then pasted it as a layer in one of the video editing softwares that you've seen me show so far in this video. All of this might seem a little bit confusing because there's so much going on and I don't have time to like give you a tutorial for how to use Camtasia or how to use After Effects. But I guess we could talk about that if somebody was truly interested in the comments, which, hey, while you're here, like the video. See, that's an edit. That right there, two, three minutes to put together. No big deal. But you gotta get used to doing that. And then once you do it, once you all, I'm gonna leave that. I'm not even editing that out. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the ad libs in. Once you do get used to this as a form, it becomes a lot easier. Now, other things that I use, like my mixer, this is not something I expect people to really deal with, but I use the GoXLR system, which is actually sitting right next to here, and I have even things programmed on that, like the little slap sound, and I can even do effects on it, like changing my voice. Like this. Actually, did that change anything? No. Yeah, it did. Okay, it did. Okay, I'm sorry. It probably sounds really weird. I'll have to turn the monitor function on the other side. 
or I can just switch it back to this. So all of these things work together to get me to where I'm at today, but it's been piecemeal to get there. I mean, the Go XLR is something I picked up last year. The camera setup that we're just now starting to use, thanks to Windrider, one of our followers, that was in the past few months. But this camera, two plus years rocking it. Now I'm on the Shure SM7B microphone now, but before it was the Audio-Technica AT2020, rocked it for two years. Shout out Gregor, who helped in the community get that. I mean, some of these ring lights I've had for two and a half years, the green screens, I've gone through four of them for different sizes and things. So in terms of what I do to be a content creator, it's a lot of work. I mean, it's eight to 10 hours a day, eight to 10 hours a day. That's just what I do every day. But I also love it. I love the community. I love every single one of you. I love the passion and I love helping other content creators. So hopefully this very basic video, and if I need a better in-depth one, y'all let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna be offended by it. If you want more in-depth to all this, let me know down below. But people have been asking, what do I use to software you know, stream, hardware stream, et cetera? This is all the, the main things. There's a few things here and there that I use extra, but those are all the main programs. And hopefully that helped you figure out how I do Star Trek Fleet Command stuff. Hopefully. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Catch you on the next one. And oh yeah, outros. Those are a fun thing that you edit in starting now. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.